Hey everybody, so we took a quick trip to Elliot Matsura for reasons. Swiss reasons. They're Swissish. Okay. Swissish. 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 And uh, we are in the CMM room right now and we're going to check out Surface Roughness Tester, what brand is this? Uh, this is Zeiss Surfcom Nix. Zeiss, okay. This is pretty cool. So we use our lapping machine to make parts super shiny and this is gonna tell us how super shiny it is. The results are pretty impressive. Okay, so you're dropping down. Yep, so we'll balance the sensor. And then, uh, would you like to do the honors? Ooh, what do we do? Well, you're just gonna click on the measurement button there. And Touch screen? Click, uh, nope, right here with the mouse. <laughs> It's moving, but you can't quite tell. Yeah, it's it's, yeah. A, it's a short trace surface finish. Doesn't take a, a long trace like a. What is the board. distance? Uh, I think it's uh, about 160 thou. So. Okay, because some of the handheld ones are like 30 thou, 10 thou. Yeah. Yeah. Now let me put in your results here. There we go. Right here. So just a little over one micro inch. Yeah. 1.1 RA. Okay. And then you have an RZ value down here. This is the maximum value, so that can just be little blips on there. But okay. the average is just about one micro Over uh, 100,000. Over the, but 150,000. 150,000, okay. Because it truncates a little bit. Can you see a graph that, yeah, I can put a graph in there. And then what I'll do is I'll uh, increase the magnification for right. you can, so you can see. It looks pretty flat. Yeah, you can see how there's a little blip there. Okay, so there's your 25. So that's a little blip, that's where it jumped up. But Which the is average is very good. It's so not real. That could just be a mode of dust. Okay. So it does so it's a diamond tipped tool. Yeah, that's right. Tiny little sharp pointy diamond, like very it's sharp. It's actually a radius in this case. Really? And I believe it's a twenty or twenty five micron radius. Okay. And so that's going to drag across the surface and we have a signal that to be right there. The machine will uh, analyze the average surface finish. And we can also look at the maximum and minimum values over that curve as well. And that's going to tell you that that angstrom level, what's happening on your surface. Hmm. Okay. We have other parts too. So this is a scrap handle. I think it slipped on the lapping machine. But double disc finish gives us a 13R8. Now we've been very, um, very picky with Nifty Bar, our grinding company, to give us the best finish they can. 13 is pretty impressive for a, a double disc rough grinding operation. And then we lap it down to 2.3 RA. Now we're doing 15 micron diamond slurry for that, and then a um, 9 micron diamond slurry for the blade, hence why it's 1 RA, not 2. Let's put this one on the machine. So you just got a little vice in there. Yeah, that you this kind is of... just now. This is a, a, a vice that we use with this machine typically. So you can see here we have the ability to adjust the uh, angle and the attitude oh. of the of the device. So if your part happens to be on a ten degree tilt, we can tilt it so it's nice and level. Got it. And that gives us a best reading. But there is a level of um, variation. Like if it's a little bit crooked, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Depending on your drag it, distance. What we actually have is a self leveling calculation. Because this is pretty flat, so just use this as a linear calculation to right. sort of spread that out. Now, let's say that you had a little bit of an arc on yeah. your surface. Uh, it would actually apply a, a circular filter, and that flattens out the curve that you see there. So even if that surface was rounded, you know, intentionally, right. it would flatten it out to analyze the curve to get the RA value. Excellent. Have you read the Mitutoyu Metrology Handbook? I've not. I've only ever really worked with uh, Zeiss and Hexagon. Okay. Yeah, I just got um, I got one for all the guys in the shop that want one. Um, it's just a wealth of information for all met methods of metrology, from measurement to surface roughness to hardness to everything. It's pretty cool. Wow, it's actually measuring in micron for the Z. Mi micro inch. Yeah. yeah, and I could put it in metric as well. But yeah. yeah. Cool. So we got 2.3 last time on that guy. Yeah. Well, let's have a look and see what we got this time. 
So yeah, this this spot here, no, I did this on the good side, so and I'm getting three, so just a little bit yeah. higher this time. Yeah. It's probably in a different location. There's always variation. Yeah. Now I did notice there was one. If you go down just a little bit, there's the one scratch right under the R. Can we drag across that guy? Yeah, let's see. All right, now. Oh, it? under under there, yes. Yeah, right under the what R. I'll, what I'll do is I'll see if I how much room I've got. It's pretty close to move in there. Or maybe hang it out the side or something. Oh, I can. I should be able to go over that scratch line. So I, I can think I can get over the ramp. All right, let me change back to our tool. And we'll see if we can get right over top of that scratch there. There we go. We're going right over it right now. Perfect. So there should be what a big spike. Depends on how uh, how deep the spike was. Let's take a look. So two point five. But the the max value is thirty four. So we'll see what the um, curve shows us here. Let's uh, zoom in. No, I'm going to say. You're, you're huh. right around in there. It's probably is, where you were. Which is not that bad. It's not too bad. It could have been very superficial. Yeah, right. and some of the scratches, like, if you can catch your fingernail on it, then it, it's so bad. You, for sure. You but it's, um, it, they could just be like, you measure it with a mic, and it scuffs it a little bit. Just for fun, we're going to do one last measurement. My coveted Brad Southern Tolk, which he <coughs> put all kinds of hidden engravings on. Um, I'm curious what his blasted slash tumbled um, surface finish is, just for fun. All right. So on the handle there, on that flat. So, so on this this surface right here. Yeah. Okay. Now, will the diamond leave a scratch on parts, or is it so lightly sprung that it's, it's very light? So it, it's unlikely that it yeah, will do it anything to uh, the surface. I'm just going to manually move this over here. Oh, so it's just resting on the table. It's just, yeah, the mass of this is more than sufficient to keep right. it from going anywhere. So, yeah. so then you're jogging it down in Z. Yeah, I can move over here too. We got lots of stroke on this machine. It's uh, we can have, I think up to a four inch uh, motion on this wow. dial. So lots of room. Yeah. This machine has a, a profile measurement tool. And the surface tool, so it's got uh, a lot of latitude. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, here's the moment of truth. Any guesses? It's gonna be a little bit higher. Yeah, you can see how there's a little bit of more of a motion in the uh, the waveform there. So I'm gonna say a little higher, but that's natural from you swiping in your pocket with the coins and stuff. Real clever kid. Okay, so let's uh, let's get the verdict here. Yeah, look at that. Thirty-six. 36. All right. Which makes sense to me. There you it's go, Brad. Smooth. Your finish is thirty-six. R A. Very nice. So hanging out at Elliot Matsura with Tim, inside sales coordinator, manager, inside sales manager, not coordinator. Sorry, don't want to insult him. Anyway. Uh, they have expanded from where that yellow beam is. Back is a whole new building. So they've added this huge dish, which adds probably like a third to your Great. showroom. Super awesome. Uh, they're still in the construction phase. Joint open house is roughly in one month. Months away, and we're getting ready for it. Bringing machines in. Yeah. It's going to be exciting. So it's going to be cool. So there's probably like five, eight, ten machines here now. There's going to be another 30 coming. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Can't wait. Well, we're super excited for the open house. Um, thanks for having us today. John, great and, having you uh, guys. Hopefully it ends up being a good meeting. We look forward to seeing you in a month. Yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.